Vice President Dr. Mahmoud uh, Bawia will have to stop cheapening the office of the Vice President and oh, be wow. a chair, a chair Vice President for the Finance Minister. That's profoundly wrong. You can't have a Vice President of the Republic accompany a Minister of Finance, then rises and even attempt to clap his hands in the Chamber of Parliament, no matter how exciting or stimulating the budget is. He ought to go above that. Whoever gave them this advice is constitutionally succinct, but it depends upon which provision of the Constitution you are relying on. Under Article 179, which is the basis for the presentation of the budget, indeed, the President himself can present the budget mm. or cause it to be presented on his behalf by any minister. Mm. That's why you saw the Honorable Chairman said do it there at that yeah. time. Yeah. And now Minister Ken Ofori Atta. So he must grow beyond this uh, uh, floor cheers in, in, in Parliament. It's not uh, helpful. And to borrow the words of one of your uh, interviewees, Kroma Eshi. <laughs> I mean, nobody should expect uh, anything better or assuring other than increased hardships in the country. Nobody should expect anything other than an attempt to inflict more economic pain. This government rode on the backs of Ghanaians with a pledge and promise to reduce the suffering of the Ghanaian people. You can go to their manifesto of 2016. There was a full page where they listed the suffering of the Ghanaian people they wanted to end. Today, they will only exacerbate the suffering. Today, oh. they would only exacerbate the hardship. Today, they would only exacerbate taxes. Mm. Today, they would only exacerbate growing unemployment with its consequence on standard of living and the suffering of the Ghanaian people. I'm Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe and click on that bell icon and get notified every time we share something new. You know we always share something new. Stay consistent.